Good morning and welcome back. I'm Shelby Coates and Lil G from Macon Radio Alliance joins me now to talk everything 41 Top Entertainment. Good morning to you. Good morning, Shelby Coates. How are you today? I'm wonderful. We have a lot to talk about. You gave me a lot of assignments, so we're going to just jump right in, okay? All right, let's go. All right, let's start off with the elections. Everyone's talking about the elections in Georgia this week, and they're wrapping up the results and still doing a lot of counting, but there are two rappers that are first-time voters, right? Yes, definitely, man. Congratulations to my man, Snoop Doggy Dog. What? Yeah, Snoop Dogg and Offset are first-time voters in the state of Georgia. You know, because of their whole, um, well, not state of Georgia, but Snoop Dogg, it's L.A. for Snoop Dogg. But because of the whole, you know, they had a arrest warrant and they've been in jail, convicted felons, you know, they weren't allowed to vote. But now that the time has passed, they are able to vote and both voted for the first time last week. And it was great to see them out there and pledging their vote. I hope it encourages more people to register to vote and exercise their right to vote in November. So you get a chance to do it again in November. I agree with you 100 percent. Yes. Let's talk about President Donald Trump now. He said that he is a fan of a popular show that everyone's talking about. I just couldn't believe this. I, I couldn't either. We weren't the only one. Issa Rae couldn't believe it. But <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump tweeted that his response to the last episode of the show was like he couldn't believe that it ended the way it did. And so he tweeted it. And Issa Rae saw the tweet and she was like, what the? I can't believe this. But right now, people can't believe if it was really Donald Trump or if he had an intern on his tweet or whatever he had going on. But, you know, it was surprising to see that Donald Trump is a fan of Insecure. He is an Insecure viewer. I don't even watch the show, and the president watch the, watches the show. I need to start. I'm just catching up. I saw it the other night, actually. Okay, I'll catch up to you then. Next, let's talk <laughs> about, we have, to, uh, say, we have to say rest in peace to Bonnie Pointer. Yeah, Bonnie Pointer. You know, she's the actual founder of the Pointer Sisters, uh, the group. And yes, she passed away at the age of uh, 69. So uh, um, the family is asking for some time to, you know, uh, dwell on what happened. And, you know, it, it said that she had heart failure, but that's unconfirmed right now. So I can't tell you definitely. But uh, she did pass away at the age of 69 in her home. And also the family of George Floyd laid him to rest this week in Houston, Texas. Yes, actually, they laid him to laid him to rest in a lot of different places in Carolina, uh, where he was raised, and also, like you said, where he was born in Houston, Texas. And it was a star-studded event. Uh, Neil actually sang at the uh, the funeral, and actually couldn't hardly finish his song because he kept getting emotional. Uh, but yeah, Al Sharpton gave a eulogy, and Ludacris was there. It was just a lot of people, man, and it was also televised nationally. That's right, yeah. A lot of uh, streets nationally, and great to see a lot of celebrities showing their support and love for his family. It was a big deal, but I'm glad to see that it's raising the awareness of uh, Black Lives Matter. All right, so we are almost out of time here, so I do want to make sure we get this in. Uh, Steve Harvey recently made a big purchase. I don't even know what it is. What is it? Big purchase. Steve Harvey bought the former home of Tyler Perry. What? Nice. It's very nice. It's also very, very big. <laughs> $15 million he paid for that home. And um, no, I'm sorry, $25 million Get he it paid right. for that home uh, in, in Atlanta. 3,500 square feet. It's just awesome. And I can't believe him and his wife would be in that big house alone. All right, man. Congrats to him. I guess they can enjoy it. Thank you so much, G. Not a problem. Thank you.